On the 2nd of March 1815, exactly 206 years ago today, the Candian aristocracy ceded our country to the British Empire via a treaty. The nation was under the yoke of the British thereafter. The common people of this country had to suffer the consequences of the betrayal carried out by the aristocracy, and it was the ordinary people who had to sacrifice their lives for 130 years in many struggles to overcome the powerful grip on the nation and gain independence. The common men paid with their lives in the first battle for independence, the Battle of Vellasse, in 1818. Just minutes before the signing of the agreement on the 2nd of March 1815, the Mahasangha showcased the pride and dignity of Sri Lanka by lowering the flag of the invaders and hoisting the lion flag again. Venerable Varya Polasri Sumangalatera was the pioneer of this bravery. In all these struggles, when the aristocracy betrayed the country, the most revered Mahasangha and the common people of this country who lived for the freedom and sovereignty of our motherland should be commemorated for their bravery today. Meanwhile, the Cabinet of Ministers granted approval for the proposal to develop the West Container Terminal of the Colombo Port on a build, operate and transfer basis for a period of 35 years as a public-private partnership with Adani Ports and a Special Economic Zone Limited. In a document issued by the Department of Government Information on the 1st of February 2021, the government approved to develop the West Container Terminal of the Colombo South Port as a public-private limited company in collaboration with the Sri Lanka Ports Authority and parties dominated by the Indian and Japanese government. The Department of Government Information further said the build, operate and transfer plan approved by the Negotiations Committee has been forwarded to the High Commission of India and the Embassy of Japan requesting them to nominate investors. Its local representatives will be John Keels Holding, PLC and Sri Lanka Ports Authority. <laughs> We hope to negotiate on that matter. A separate committee has been appointed for that. However, it will be operated under the themes of partnership and as a BOT. A cabinet appointed negotiation committee has been appointed for that. Accordingly, we will inform you about it in the future. Appointed negotiating committee.